The Road Home Program is, is our Center for Excellence in Treatment for veterans and their families. We have several different forms of treatment for different conditions. We sponsor ongoing therapies, regular psychotherapies and counseling for either the veterans or their families, family members, in fact, and, and it may even be for non-military kinds of reasons for family and such. We will just provide that care. And the care is provided at, at little to no cost. If they have insurance, we'll, we'll bill insurance, but otherwise they just need to qualify as being connected to the veteran. Uh, we also will do medication management for, for veterans that are here in the Chicago area and, and we can provide ongoing care for. And then we sponsor uh, these intensive outpatient programs where um, veterans can come in from all over the country or beyond as long as they qualify and go through the screening process and have post-traumatic stress disorder or are survivors of military sexual trauma. So we have two treatment arms. One is the sort of the battlefield PTSD. And then on the other hand, we, we provide treatment for the survivors of military sexual trauma. And they'll come in for two weeks. They're put up in housing close by. And from dawn till dusk, we'll attend treatment at our, in our program, at our center. We provide, you know, cover the expenses of this through the uh, wonderful help of our patrons, uh, our donors, the Wounded Warrior uh, Network, Warrior Care Network being the primary philanthropic uh, contributor to our program. And patients will go through these uh, two-week intensive outpatient program. We started with three-week. We found that the two-week data is almost just about as good and that we're able to provide this intensive treatment over two weeks time such that we see a reduction, a reduction of symptoms as reflected in, in rating scores. And then the person returns home. Uh, we work very hard to find follow-up in their areas and or maintain some sort of uh, uh, connection to them if, if we're able to. And that's what the, the program is. It really is a mission driven program. And the mission is to uh, provide really leading cutting edge data supported treatment to veterans and their families, those who, who really sacrificed so much. The neat part about it Thing that being at the university that appeals to us is that uh, we're able to collect data and really show the value of, of what we do. We can reduce trauma rating scores significantly. You know, people not only feel better, we reduce the risk of suicide, but what else happens? I mean, they go home, they're part of systems, whether it's family social systems, work systems, the productivity is improved. So every vet that we treat, we feel that there is a societal benefit. I mean, if you talk about you know, making contributions and, and taking care of people and, and such, this is treating trauma, whether it's veterans or in the inner city, the children and such, this is where you can get a tremendous bang for the buck. And I think that our data is, is showing it We'll continue to show it as we you know, develop these programs further and take them beyond the military. And that's that's our mission here at Rush. It's a form of, of, of cognitive behavioral therapy where you open up, you, what was the event? You discuss the event and what was the emotional response to the event and how has it continued to affect you and what triggers do you have for it? And what thoughts do you have and what are your automatic feelings associated with the thoughts? And then you work with the person to sort of address the thoughts and the feelings that come to, uh, with it. So, okay, when this happened, this was your response in Afghanistan. Now that you're back home, when your partner, you know, says this or does this, or the kids make a big noise, you know, this is your response. How can you work through it better? How can you change? And you actually do practice exercises and changing and you try and help the person formulate it so they're not stuck in the same thought so they don't go back to battle or back to the traumatic event with the trigger that they can teach themselves to go somewhere else and then calm themselves it's a form of cognitive be behavioral therapy cbt but it's something really specific with specific techniques that the therapist employs we felt uh, really important to take more of a of a comprehensive approach and not just a medication approach and, and 
And so we developed the program and over the last you know, four or five years, it's, it's evolved. We can actually speed things up in some ways. We've learned by getting feedback from our, our patients as to what helped them most. You know, how do they feel about this aspect of treatment? How do they feel about the mindfulness? How do they feel about the art therapy they received or the music therapy, different aspects of the program? We learned what parts of our screening tool gave us the best data and the most exact data, what part of our screening tools actually were significant, which questions were more significant than others, which questions actually correlated with diagnosis and with responses and such. So we've learned an awful lot about treating uh, PTSD. We did not have the uh, sexual trauma survivor program at first, and we instituted that. We've learned as we've gone that we try and incorporate the strongest aspects as we decrease the time investment. We really try to focus on the strongest aspects of treatment, the things that give us the most bang for the buck, for the buck, the most responses. We've developed the program the way it is now. Brainline is powered in part by Wounded Warrior Project to honor and empower post 9-11 injured service members, veterans, and their families. 